Hi, Cougar here. And do. And today we are making some upcycled crafts. And what is upcycling? It is using supplies that you already have at your house. Toilet paper tubes, plastic bags, paper, string, maybe some boxes that you might have. So today our crafts are going to focus on upcycling. So our first craft that we are going to do is going to use toilet paper tubes and we are going to make some little treasure boxes. And this one happens to be a holiday one. This one is just an everyday one. And what you can put in these, you can open them on the end and you can put some treats in there and then you close them and then you can give it as a gift to a friend. So what you need to make our little treasure boxes is you need a toilet paper tube, you need some paper, you need some scissors, you need some glue, and you need some string. And when I talk about string, I am just using kitchen string that we have around the house already. So to start with, what you need to do is take your toilet paper tube and whatever paper you want to use, and I have some scrapbooking paper that I've used, and you are going to measure your toilet paper tube on the paper, and you wanna leave a little bit extra on each side so that when you fold it over on the end, that it covers the ends. So I am just going to lightly mark right there, and then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to cut a strip of paper and set my paper aside. And then I am going to take my paper and my glue, and I'm using a paintbrush, but if you don't have a paintbrush, you can use a cotton swab or your finger. And I am just going to take some glue and I'm going to put it on my paper on both ends. Just like so. And you can tell I'm not being careful, which is why I have another piece of paper underneath. Hit off. Um, I have another piece. Take your glue um, after you get it on both sides and make sure that you have a paper underneath so that you don't get your mom's table or uh, kitchen counter all gluey because that will make her very upset. You've glued both sides. You lay your toilet paper tube down on one side, press the end down, and you're simply going to roll until you get to the next side. And then press that end as tight as you can to make it stick. And if it's not sticking real well, if it kind of pulls up like that, you might need just a little bit more glue. I'm just gonna try it again and roll it again. And press. And because you'll notice there's glue there, so what I wanna do is I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna run it down to seal that edge and then I'm just gonna wipe it on my extra paper. After you have that done, you are going to take your kitchen string and you need enough so that it'll go through the toilet paper tube and that you can tie it on the outside. So I'm just gonna cut some string and I'm going to feed this through the toilet paper tube just like so. And then I'm going to match the ends up and I am going to make a knot. So I'm going to loop it over or under, over the top, through the loop, pull it tight, and now I have that. To close the ends, what you wanna do is just push the toilet paper tube in on one side, turn it around, push it in like that, and then do the other end as well. When you do the other end, make sure you're pushing it in on the same sides, not going the opposite way. So that when they're closed, you have something that looks like that. So that is our first upcycled craft. Our other upcycled craft, we had a lid to a box that we had at the house 
and to hold all of our supplies from our swaps, that's what's in here, is we just took some paper, cut it in strips, glued it onto the side of the box all the way around, and you can do the bottom if you want as well. And then we have a pretty box that can sit out on our um, crafting area or on our table to get all of our supplies back and forth and makes it so much easier. So our other craft that we are going to do today that is our upcycled craft is going to be taking several toilet paper tubes. We are going to be making gardens. So I have several toilet paper tubes. I'm going to use four of them. If you don't have four, that's okay. So you're going to take four toilet paper tubes and you need your kitchen string again. And you are going to just wrap the kitchen string around the toilet paper tubes like so. And then just make a bow like you're tying your shoes. So it looks like that. And then you can use whatever you have. We're going to use a plastic bread bag but if you have extra newspaper, or if you have a small box, or you have a grocery bag, whatever you would like to use, we're using a bread bag. And I am going to fold it down, and I'm not being overly careful with it, I'm just making some folds, because you want it to be at about the height that your toilet paper tubes are. So then you're gonna take your toilet paper tubes that are tied together, Set them inside the bag, and then if you want, you can tie the whole outside together to make it just a little bit more stable. You don't have to if you don't want to. So you're gonna tie them together, like so. And then I have some seeds. We're planting cilantro because my husband loves to make salsa. And so he put cilantro in his. And then you just need some dirt. And I went and found some dirt from outside. So you're just gonna take your dirt, and I'm using a regular kitchen spoon that I use to eat my breakfast cereal with. I'll wash it before I use it for cereal. And you're just gonna take it, and you're very carefully gonna dump it inside of the, to of the toilet paper tubes. And you can plant different seeds in each one. And you'll want it to be maybe a little bit more than halfway, maybe three quarters of the way. And then you're gonna take your seeds, and these are my cilantro seeds, and I'm just gonna drop them in there, like so. And that's probably more cilantro than I need. The seeds came out kind of fast. And then I'm gonna add some more dirt on top of that. And then I am going to take my spray bottle of water, and I am just going to spritz. And then you have a garden that started, and you can set this outside, you can set it in your window, you just need to make sure that you spritz it every couple of days to see some growth. We did another one that's not in a bag, we just did a single one that's on a little dish that has some seeds in there as well. So you can do any kind of gardening that you would like at home. It's really easy and when your sprouts start to grow, when they get big enough, you just take this whole tube and go plant it in your garden. You don't have to take the dirt out because these um, break down in their compost. So it'll help kind of give some added, added nutrients. Hope you guys had fun today. We will see you next time. Thanks.